This talk is an overview of the diagnosis of neurocognitive disorders. This talk will review the diagnoses in the DSM chapter titled Neurocognitive Disorders, with visual organizers and mnemonics to help you remember the criteria. First, let's discuss major and mild neurocognitive disorder. These can be thought of on a spectrum of severity, with mild NCD being least severe and severe major NCD being most severe. I should also point out that major neurocognitive disorder is what was historically and still colloquially known as dementia, so I will sometimes use that term as well. To meet criteria for one of these disorders, a patient must have significant cognitive decline and some degree of functional impairment due to this cognitive decline. Severity is determined based on level of functional impairment, as measured by impairment in activities of daily living, or ADLs. There are two categories of ADLs, basic ADLs and instrumental ADLs, which I'll review in a bit. Mild NCD involves no impairment in ADLs. Mild major NCD involves impaired instrumental ADLs. Moderate major NCD involves impaired basic ADLs. Patients with severe major NCD are fully dependent on others, often requiring 24-7 nursing care. Severity can also be approximated based on the patient's mini mental status exam score, as shown here. These disorders can also be associated with other psychiatric symptoms, such as psychosis, mood changes, agitation, aggression, or apathy, which can be indicated with the with behavioral disturbance specifier. Let's next review the activities of daily living, since they are critical to the diagnosis. Basic ADLs are basic self-care tasks, while instrumental ADLs are more advanced tasks required to maintain an independent home. Basic ADLs can be remembered with the mnemonic wet the bed, walking and transferring, elimination or urinary and fecal continence, toileting and grooming, bathing, eating, and dressing. Instrumental ADLs can be remembered with the mnemonic depend, dollars, which refers to managing finances and shopping, environment, which refers to cleaning and performing maintenance on a home, as well as doing laundry, being able to use a phone or communicating through other means, eating, which in this case refers to cooking meals, nursing, which refers to managing one's health care and taking medications, and driving or managing other means of transport. These are the basics of diagnosing neurocognitive disorders, but note that these diagnoses do not describe the underlying cause of the cognitive decline. Therefore, let's briefly review the common etiologies of major neurocognitive disorder and a few characteristics to help you distinguish each one. Alzheimer's dementia is the most common cause of major NCD in the elderly. It is caused by the accumulation of beta amyloid plaques and tau tangles in the brain. Frontotemporal dementia is caused by frontal and temporal lobe degeneration and is associated with PIC bodies. It characteristically involves a marked change in personality, often with significant disinhibition. Parkinson's dementia is caused by alpha-synuclein accumulation in the brain, which leads to dopamine deficiency, particularly in the substantia nigra. The characteristic motor abnormalities of Parkinson's disease occur early on in the disease course, while cognitive decline occurs later. Visual hallucinations are also common. This should be contrasted with Lewy body dementia, which involves a similar pathology, but the symptom course is different. In Lewy body dementia, cognitive decline occurs first, while motor changes occur later. It also features visual hallucinations. Huntington's disease can also lead to cognitive decline, and is associated with CAG trinucleotide repeats in the genome. It can be distinguished by the characteristic choreoform movement seen in Huntington's. Vascular dementia occurs due to strokes or other cerebrovascular disease. Since it involves the accumulation of numerous cerebrovascular injuries over time, it involves a stepwise decline in cognition and bodily function, along with focal neurologic deficits based on where in the brain these injuries occur. This list is not comprehensive, and there are many other rarer causes of major NCD, including diseases, nutritional deficiencies, and other medical problems. A few that are specifically listed in the DSM include traumatic brain injuries, HIV, and prion diseases. To conclude, and for the sake of completeness, I'd like to briefly touch on delirium. Delirium is not an underlying diagnosis, but a psychiatric syndrome involving acute onset waxing and waning of attention and awareness. There are many different causes of delirium as well, but that discussion goes beyond the scope of this talk. That's the end of this talk. I hope this is a useful guide to these diagnoses. Thank you.